this video, a high aperture efficiency in fire antenna is proposed based on spoof surface plasmon polarizations, and we mainly achieve the design of in fire radiation by exciting the odd mode SSPPs. Firstly, we would like to discuss the two special mode of a pair of cinch side SSPPs units. For odd mode SSPPs unit, the electric fields of the upper and lower elements are superimposed at x-axis direction. If we arrange the SSPPs units along the x-axis, an enhanced beam can be obtained at in-fire direction. On the contrary, the electric fields of the even mode SSPPs elements cancel out in the x-axis direction, and the array formed by them will have zero points in the in-fire direction, which is not conducive to the realization of in-fire radiation. As shown in Fig 2, Assuming the current distributions of this pair of SSPPs units are in phase and out of phase respectively. Fig 3 shows the dispersive curves of SSPPs unit with different groove depths. To inspire the odd mode SSPPs, a 180 degrees phase shifter is needed. Because the antenna is a structure without ground and considering that a parallel strip lines with opposite current can arouse odd mode, the feeding structure contains a ballon with micro strip line to parallel strip lines. As shown in Fig 5, we realize a pair of antiphas current by adding a parallel double line behind the traditional ballon. By connecting the SSPPs unit mentioned above we can make it operate by odd mode. Fig 6 shows the S parameters of this ballon structure, and its operating band covers a wide range, from 7 GHz to 13 GHz. In order to prove the current of parallel strip lines is opposite, two ports are added at the end of the ballon in CST Microwave Studio and the simulated phases of S21 and S31 are shown in Fig 6b. The phase difference in phase between S21 and S31 is indeed approximately equal to 180. According to the well-known Hansen-Woodyard condition and the pattern multiplication principle, we can get the theoretically plane pattern of this antenna or the traveling wave antennas to make sure that all of the energy can radiate into the free space. A larger length is needed otherwise it will cause reflection and worse bandwidth. In order to solve this problem, a gradually disappearing corrugated structure is further introduced to the end of the antenna. By adding this disappearing structure, the phase constant of this SSPP's transmission line is gradually reduced towards that of the free space. And this can reduce the length of the antenna. Finally, an in-fire antenna with zero tilted angle operates in the frequency range of 9 GHz to 11 GHz and achieves an average gain of 11.51 dBi. Besides, this SSPP's antenna realizes a high aperture efficiency up to 13.26 dBi per square lambda zero. The simulated and measured results are in good agreements over the operating band. These are the simulated and measured patterns at different frequencies, and they are in good agreements. For more details, please contact the email below or read our published paper. Thanks for watching.